we come to painting a rainbow, or sometimes called dancing with a rainbow. Um, again, within the traditional forms, this is believed to help the triple heat issue, like the immune system, meridian of the body, or these electromagnetic rivers, magnetic rivers even, um, that they help, meridians, um, or nadis, whatever you like to call them, um, Indian or Chinese way of saying it. Um, or, sorry, they would help the triple heaters, the heart lung, lungs, and the pericardium is a bit tongue tied. So, again, four things they will benefit, as with a lot of traditional, um, within the traditional Qigong sequences, they benefit specific meridians. But again, I'm a believer in where you put your focus on, you move towards. So, again, if you're focusing on other problem areas in the body you want to benefit, it would do that. Again, it's your option, nothing specific, too specific. There's so many different forms and sequences, and again, sometimes for the same move, you'll hear different organs. It will benefit every single organ, cell, sinew of the body, because that breath will manifest in every single organ, cell, sinew of the body, every square inch of tissue in the body, atom of the body, that breath manifests. So it will benefit the organs in a cohesive manner. But again, I digress there. We're going down the yogic Pilates and hypnotherapy path with it, the breathing. It's a little bit of a mixture of breath. Um, again, done the traditional stuff on other tapes. That generally breathes into the belly like a balloon. We've been a little bit, we're not doing that, even though I've done that on other tapes we're going down the Pilates path to start off with. So let's go into the breath. I'll spend a lot more time on the breath. So you zip up pelvic floor, scoop out your abdominals. Take the navel towards the spine. You want to explain your pelvic floor. If you're on a long journey, you want to go to the toilet. You stop yourself going, that's your pelvic floor. Corset, powerhouse, girdle of strength is three layers deep. And again, by zipping up pelvic floor and scooping out your abdominals, them two go together, okay? to segmentally stabilize your spine. So as soon as that happens, that will naturally help you breathe into these lower lobes of lungs, the intercostals, the ribs, anywhere but the stomach in a 3D manner. Okay, and that will help us use the pelvic floor and the corset in the most efficient manner, helping us breathe anywhere but the belly button, helping us breathe into these lower lobes of lungs. So we can throw on that corset, that transverse abdominus, the corset muscle, three layers deep, and zip up pelvic floor. Again, you don't have to know that, but it does help to know what these muscles are, because sometimes it can be a bit like an amnesia. So you find these muscles, you know, then you know where they are. So again, let's go into the breathing. We're gonna breathe in for the nose to start off with, and exhale through pursed lips. So as you do that now, as you're still zipping up pelvic floor and scooping out your abdominals, and exhaling through pursed lips, keeping the shoulders down, Okay, follow that journey all the way in and all the way out. Okay, in through the nose and exhaling through pursed lips. So if you're blowing out a candle through pursed lips, that exhale will work like a cough or a sneeze. Help you naturally zip up pelvic floor and scoop out your abdominals in a Pilates manner there. So again, we switch it a little bit now. We close the mouth. We keep on breathing through the nose, but we breathe out through the nose as we still zip up pelvic floor and scoop out your abdominals. Take the navel towards the spine still. We're breathing in through the nose, but we're going out through the nose. That's a smaller filter for the nose as we slightly go down the yogic path for one of the yogic breaths. That would help lengthen the whole wheel cycle of the breath. Okay, as that lengthens the whole wheel cycle of the breath, okay, as that does that, Within the asanas, that really helps, okay? As it will these quick on moves, okay? That helps you, as you're doing that now, safe in the knowledge, that will help you edge into these with that ease in a relaxed manner, okay? It's like a tool, it's like the bridge between the mind and the body, it's our gauge. Do you see how deeply we get into these postures? Especially that elongated out breath, which as you do that right now, you will naturally feel that want the fall longer than the in breath. So just simply allow that to happen. 
without even trying or try not to try. Just allow that to happen, that out breath to fall longer than the in breath. Encouraging them restful relaxation responses and endless streams of comfort. That will naturally happen anyway. Okay, so just allow it to happen. Then consciously take your mind to that out breath in a more sort of hypnotic manner. That will help the parasympathetic nervous system as you elongate the out breath longer than the in breath. Okay, that will help all the housekeeping properties of the body. Sleep, digestion, rest and relaxation all benefited as you do that right now. We elongate the out breath longer than the in breath, encouraging them restful relaxation responses and endless streams of comfort. The in breath is conscious thought, the out breath is subconscious thought. So by extending the out breath longer than the in breath, Allowing that simplicity to relax the mind, that will help all the things you don't think about. Cellular communication within the body, organ function, assimilation and elimination. That health and renewal will be benefited by elongating the out-breath longer than the in-breath. Okay, the in-breath is conscious thought, the out-breath is subconscious thought. So by extending the out-breath longer than the in-breath, right now that's going to just allow you just to melt into these postures without even trying or trying not to try as you still zip up pelvic floor and scoop out your abdominals bringing in pilates principles in and just simply elongate the out breath for as long as you like in and out through the nose okay that cleansing yogic breath so again with that mixture of breath that's fine as we calibrate and synchronize that in a vinyasa, breath synchronized motion in Sanskrit. Okay. Now again, you can stick with that breathing like you're doing right now, zipping up pelvic floor, scooping out your abdominals, breathing out through the nose as you lengthen the out breath longer than the in breath. Quadruple it, double it, triple it within your limits, not forcing anything. It's a bit like 7 11 breathing or 5 in and 10 out. Not that we're counting, everyone's count will be different. It can be slightly longer or a lot longer. Again, see what suits you. It's your union of your mind and body. As you be within the breath, that present moment with the breath. As you ride in the wave, for that lovely elongated out breath and just simply let go at will. So again, if you want to take this on and make this a little bit more advanced breath, yogic breath, you can do. You can take it to ujjayi breath. Okay, but if you can't get it, don't worry. Just carry on breathing as you are. Okay, if you want to take this on to ujjayi breath, we breathe in for the nose. And we grip at the esophagus now. It's the only difference. And we breathe in. Shoulders down because they all want to come up with ujjayi breath. And exhale. Soft, silky, whistling ujjayi breath. If you can't get it, don't worry. Otherwise, carrying on with or without ujjayi breath, the breathing's the same, just a slight difference as we grip at esophagus with ujjayi breath, victorious breath in Sanskrit. Shoulders down and exhale. As you can hear that raspy, silky, whistling sound from the back of the throat. That gives the mind something to focus on within the form, okay? It's like focusing breath we do when we're trying to focus on something, fine motor move, etc. You know, threading the needle, banging the nail in. We sometimes do that. So we're really overemphasizing that focusing breath. That gives the mind something to focus on as you're doing that right now. Still zipping up pelvic floor, stooping out your abdominals, either with the Ujjayi breath or without, okay? You can become aware of the sound of the breath, the feel of the breath, as it weaves that tapestry of relaxation. In every single organ, cell, sinew of the body, that ujjayi breath will fan the fire about all the toxins in the body even more. Okay, helps us build the heat within the body. Don't underrate your breath. You can cool your food down with breath, or you can heat your hands up in winter. So as we grip at esophagus, 
or not, see what suits you. We're still zipping up power before scooping out your abdominals and naturally elongating that out breath in and out through the nose. Okay, with or without Ujjayi breath, it doesn't matter. So we're gonna calibrate and synchronize and integrate that to the Qigong sequence, painting the rainbow, we're called dancing with the rainbow. Again, with this, we're just gonna to come to the motion. So still zip up, scoop out your abdominals. All it is, and I can bring the feet in a minute, we're gonna breathe in and we're gonna exhale and we're gonna come over this way. Now again, I'm gonna bring the feet in so you can see it. It's gonna be partially empty the foot here. Again, this sort of cat stance here, tip of the little finger to the hip, really exhale. It's like a yogic pose anyway. We breathe in, hip shoulders down, let them drop here and exhale, partially empty. Hips, ankles, knees, shoulders all stacked. You'll release these obliques, these external obliques. Breathing in, let the shoulders down and exhale. This is where we're really empty and elongate the out breath for as long as you like. Partially empty that leg. Breathing in, coming up. Exhale, feel these obliques, these external obliques release on that out breath. A bit sharper on the in breath, but longer on the out breath. If you want to come here, you can you have to sort of ab crunch here. You can just lift the leg up here. Even place the forearm on this quad. And then breathe in, but that's a bit hard. So again, it's like a crunch, like a sort of um, crisscross crunch from Pilates. Again, a bleak crunch. Again, you can just come down here. If you really need to, you can put the hands on the hip if you're a bit worried, okay? Um, any problems with the spine, you can do that. I'm not coming this deep, you can be here or here. Exploit the rain speed and tempo to suit you. Partially empty this foot, this is the additional way. We can come up here, gather in, bring that foot up a little bit, hand on there, and just crunch that way. But really elongate the out breath. As you partially empty that foot in a cat stance, Really elongate the exhale. Again, you're bringing Terry's major muscle here in. A lot of the muscles that cross across the body, like the walking gait muscles, the quadrilateral lumborum, goes across the back like a cross. Again, the internal obliques go across like crosses. That really helps stretch these muscles. It really helps the walking gait. It's a very sort of functional exercise as we're adding the Pilates principles. That's gonna support your spine. But again, if it's just here, it doesn't matter. You know, just a little motion. See what suits you, exploit the range, speed and tempo to make all these Qigong exercises as easy or as hard as you like. Okay, it's your union of your mind and body and your nervous system. Okay, so see what suits you. And again, stretches these external obliques there. And uh, yeah, really good for the walking gait, that one. But just elongate the out breath for as long as you like. Tip a little finger down to the hip. Gather in, navel towards the spine. If you've got any problems and you just want to come in this far, you put your hand on your hip for support for a modification. Okay, lovely. So that was painting the rainbow or dancing with the rainbow. Again, got separating the clouds next for number four of the 18 form Qigong sequence. But that was number three, number 11, the whole 35. Bang, that doesn't matter.